hello what's up youtube ronnie sweet and i try in this tutorial i want to show you how you can easily create your color lookup tables or your lats within photoshop so lats are more like presets that are going to help or enable you color grade faster in photoshop so let me show you how to first of all color grade your image your image and later on save it as a lat or as a preset to color grade other images within the future time so you can see this is the light we are going to be creating for this very image you can see what we had and after so i'm just going to come and delete it so that we can color grade this together and we save it later on and we apply it later on the image to see how it is going to be working so usually when you're creating your lights you have to always make sure or ensure that you are working on only one layer or your background layer so make sure to take that into consideration and also every adjustment you create on the image you have to take it to the extreme because when you apply it on the images you have the capacity to come and change down or turn down the opacity depending on what you want to work with in your images so basically that is it and you also don't have to group your adjustments because when you group them your light may not be saved effectively or well so let's just start color grading so as for this image i feel like it is lacking a little bit of contrast so i'll come and add a little bit of contrast to this very image just up to around 14 or 15 will be good and after doing that i feel like it is a little bit desaturated i'm just going to come to the hue and saturation and i'm simply going to pump up the saturation under the master so i'm just going to do that I'm just going to take it a little bit to around 10 and that adds a nice and popping feel to the image so after we have done all that we're just going to come back down here and we're going to come to our selective color so under selective color we're going to come under the blacks and we're going to simply intensify the blacks by a tiny stop up to around two and we're going to add a little bit of blues you can see when you take this all the way down it is going to add blues within the image and when you take it all the way up it is going to add more greens and yellows within the image so just want to add and create that kind of cinematic vibe to this very image so just, i'm just going to take it up to around there and after doing that we can come back to our hue and saturation adjustments and we can simply come under for example the reds and you can turn down the lightness slightly just a little bit and you can also come to the yellows and simply desaturate or reduce on the saturation in the yellows and take down the lightness even so if we feel like we want to have a more richer skin tone complexion for these models so i'm just going to make one final adjustment layer which is the black and white adjustment layer so i'm just going to come down here and i'm going to come to black and white right here and i'm going to change the blend mode from normal to multiply and simply come and reduce on the opacity all the way down then start taking it up gradually and you can see right now the image has nice and rich color within the skin tone so you can see every adjustment i've made to the image is not in any kind of group so what i'm going to do basically i'm simply going to show you a quick before and after for the color grading so this is the before and after that we have right now so we just want to create this as a preset or want to save it as a color lookup table to easen or fasten the skin retouching or color grading process within photoshop at a future time so we're just going to come right here to file and you come to export and you come down to color lookup table so after doing that it's going to open up the car export color lookup table window right here or the dialog box and you're going to come you can add copyright information if at all you wish to and make sure the quality is in medium because we want this to load faster every single time we are trying to color grade images within photoshop so make sure the grid points are 32 and medium has been selected so make sure cube is selected because this works better with photoshop and just come and hit 
okay and it's going to bring up another dialog window so right now we can name this to maybe try your try your lat and you're going to save it wherever we want so i'm just going to save it on the desktop and i'm going to come and simply click on save and it's going to take a few seconds and it's going to be saved so right now our lat has been saved and what i want to do i'm just going to prove to you that this works perfectly well like the color grading we, we had applied to this image so i'm going to use shift and i'm going to click on the brightness and contrast and simply delete that so what i'm going to do, i'm just going to come to adjustments and i'm going to come to color lookup and just come to load 3d lat simply left click once more and i'm going to come to my location where i saved my lat remember i named my lat as trial trial lat so i'm just going to search it right here and i'm going to get it it is right here and i'm going to simply click on open and with just a single click you're going to notice that it has just color graded the image so when you feel like the intensity is too much like i said at the start of the tutorial you can come and simply reduce on the opacity of your light in general so you can see this is what we have right now so you can see a quick before and after for the color grading of this image so basically this is how to create your own lats or color lookup tables or you can even call them presets to quicken or fasten your color grading process within photoshop and this is it for today's story and if i told you i've loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if i told you i've been watching and you're not subscribed this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating